Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with sun shining faces. Oh, this is the way to have a good day. Hello, my sweet students. Welcome back to music class. I hope you had a wonderful long holiday weekend. Hope you had some fun. We have another wonderful class planned. We're gonna be looking at a brand new, quite challenging little rhythm. We are going to be singing a patriotic song and we are going to be looking at our very, very last planet in the Gustav Holst planet suite. So let's dive right in. Let's start with those scales. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. La, ti, do, re, mi, Very nice job. So we're going to jump into our rhythm now. The rhythm this week is going to be pretty similar to the rhythm we did last week as far as difficulty and the different rhythms that are being used. But this week, after we learn our rhythm, we're going to add some body percussion to it. And that's when it becomes really fun and challenging. So just make sure that you're paying extra attention to that rhythm while we're learning it, because the better you can just clap it, the better you're going to be at the body percussion and the more fun it's going to be. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so here is our rhythm for today. Immediately, I see that we're in a 4-4 four, four time signature. Four beats per measure. Quarter note gets the beat. I see some 16th notes. I see some 16th notes attached to some 8th notes. And I also see, on that second to last measure, a syncopation, right? An 8th quarter 8th. Single 8th note, quarter note, single 8th note. So, those are just some things to look out for as we're clapping through it. So, let's get started. I'll clap a measure, you clap it back to me. One and two and three, four. One, two e and a three and four. One and two and three, four and a. One, two, e, and three, and four. Good. And those last two measures we just clapped, I think, are the hardest in the whole rhythm. So if you did that, you're ready to go. So let's try that entire first line together before moving on to the second line, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, e, and a three, and four. One, and two, and three, four, and a one, two, e, and three, and four. Very nice. Okay, so here is our second line. I'll clap it, you clap it back to me, okay? One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. 
one e and two, three and four. One and two and three, four and. One, two, three and four. Good. Now, to be fair to our second line, let's clap our whole second line and then we'll put it all together. But right now, just that second line of rhythms, okay? All together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one E and a two, three, and four. One and two and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Good, now look at that second to last measure one more time with me. It's a little bit tricky. We're gonna go one and two and three, four, and. So if you're clapping it correctly, you're clapping through that second beat. So you'll go one and two and three, four, and. It's a little bit tricky, but it's a really, really fun rhythm. And if you can learn how to put them into your rhythm vocabulary, they really make a rhythm or a song sparkle. So I really want you guys to get good at them. So we can all just be like Scott Joplin and do our ragtime music, right? <laughs> okay, so let's put the whole thing together from the very first measure to the very last measure. We're going all the way through. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three, four. One, two, e and a three and four. One and two and three, four, and a one, two, e, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, e, and a two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Very nice. So, now we're going to start the fun part. We're going to add some body percussion to this rhythm that we just learned. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make every single different type of rhythm a different motion on your body. So the quarter note is going to be a pat on the legs. The eighth note is going to be a snap. If you can't snap, don't worry about it. Just pretend. And the 16th note is going to be a clap. And those are actually the only three rhythms that we use in this big example. We just strung them together in different ways. Pretty cool, right? So I have made pat, snap, and clap different colors. And every single time we have that rhythm, I have put that color over the number. So when you see the green, think snap. When you see the blue, think pat, and when you see the orange, think clap. And I'm going to be there every step of the way to help you. This one's a little bit challenging. You might not get it the first time, but we just are going to keep on keeping on. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's going to be super fun. So I'm going to get into a full body shot, and we're going to see what we can do with this, okay? Okay, so this is another amazing way to try and feel the rhythm in your body and get it a little bit more in your system. So let's do measure by measure one more time because it's kind of new, right? So the first measure, I have four eighth notes and two quarter notes. So I'm going to go snap, 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 pat, pat. Now you. Good, now I have a quarter note, four sixteenth notes, two eighth notes, and a quarter note. And I'm gonna go pat, clap, 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 snap, snap, pat. Good, here's the next one. Snap, 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 pat, snap, clap, clap. Pat, clap, clap, snap, 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 pat. Good, 
Very good. So, really slowly, let's see if we can try that top line together, okay? And I know I said it when we were just clapping the rhythm, but those last two measures of this line are the hardest of the whole thing. So, if you get that, you're good to go. And if you don't, there's smoother sailing ahead. So, either way, it's a win, okay? First line, ready? One, two, ready, go. Snap. Snap, 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 pat, pat, pat. Clap, 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 snap, snap, pat. Snap, 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 pat, snap, clap, clap, pat. Clap, clap, snap, 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 pat. Very good. Here is our second line, okay? Pat, snap, snap, pat, snap, snap. Clap, 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 pat. Snap, snap, pat. Snap, pat, snap, pat. Snap, snap. Pat, pat. Snap, snap, pat. Good, okay. Now, let's try just the second line by itself. Okay, so we start with that pat, right? One, two, ready, go. Pat, snap, snap, pat, snap, snap, clap, 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 pat. Snap, snap, pat. Snap, pat, snap, pat, snap, snap, pat, pat. Snap, snap, pat. Very nice. Okay, so now it's time to put it all together, okay? So just do your best. Try and follow along. I'll be helping you every step of the way, okay? And a friendly reminder, it really, really, really helps if you are saying the movements out loud. So don't just try and follow me. Also try and say the movement as you're going, just like I am. Snap, 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 pat, pat. Okay? All right. Everything together from the top. One, two, ready, go. Snap, 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 snap. Pat, 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 clap, 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 snap, snap, pat. Snap, 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 pat, snap, clap, clap, pat, clap, clap, snap, 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 pat. Pat, snap, snap, pat, snap, snap, clap, 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 pat. Snap, snap, pat. Snap, pat, snap, pat, snap, snap, pat, pat, snap, snap, pat. Good. Okay. How did you do? Is it feeling comfortable? If it is, it wouldn't be a Miss Olivia class unless we tried to take it just a hair faster for a challenge, right? But if it still feels a little shaky, feel free to rewind it and do it one more time and see if you can get it at that speed. It's not a race. If you are just doing your best, you're doing perfectly, okay? So one more time, just a little faster for a little bit of fun challenge. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. Snap, 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 pat, 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 clap, 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 snap, snap, pat. Snap, 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 pat, snap, clap, clap, pat, Clap, clap, snap, 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 pat. Pat, snap, snap, pat, snap, snap. Clap, 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 pat. Snap, snap, pat. Snap, pat, snap, pat. Snap, snap, pat. Pat, snap, snap, pat. Ooh, very good, my friends. I am so proud of you. All right, my friends. It is time to do some singing. So, as I mentioned earlier, Monday, when we didn't have any school, was Memorial Day. And Memorial Day is a patriotic American holiday where we remember and honor anyone who has died serving the US military.
So I thought it would be a really nice time for us to sing a patriotic song. I tried to pick one that you guys might not be as familiar with so we could learn something new, and this one is called Color Me America. It's by a very famous lady named Dolly Parton. And it's all about the beautiful colors on our flag and how they make us feel and how they make us want to love and protect one another. So I really hope you like it. Let's dive in. All right, my friends, we've got the lyrics on the screen. This is our first set of lyrics. There'll be two sets of them. And let's jump in. I'll sing a line and you sing it back. Get my first note. All right. I am red, white, and blue. These are colors that ring true. To I am and feel and love and do. I stand proud and brave and tall I want justice for us all So color me America Red, white, and blue. How easy is that? Very nice, my friends. Let's try the whole thing together, okay? One, two, ready, go. I am red, white, and blue. These are colors that ring true. To all I am and feel and love and do I stand proud and brave and tall I want justice for us all So color me America Red, white and blue Beautiful! So then we go to our chorus, our second set of lyrics. Oh, sweet freedom, may you stay. In our lands and lives always. And may peace and beauty deeds be true and be worthy of your stripes red white and Very nice. So let's try that second set of lyrics all together, and then we're going to put it all together with our piano, okay? One, two, ready, go. Oh, sweet freedom, may you stay in our lands and lives always, and may peace and beauty fill our hearts anew. And may we all stand up for you, may our thoughts and deeds be true, and be worthy of your stripes, red, white, and blue. Okay, very nice. 
Are you ready to put it all together? If not, feel free to rewind and catch that one lyric you didn't get the last time. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and sing through, okay? One, two, ready, go. I am red and white and blue. These are colors that ring true. To all I am and feel and love and do. I stand proud and brave and tall. I want justice for us all. So color me America. Red, white, and blue. Oh, sweet freedom, may you stay in our lands and lives always. And may peace and beauty fill our hearts anew. And may we all stand up for you. May our thoughts and deeds be true. And be worthy of your stripes, red, white, and blue. All right, beautiful job, my friends. It is now time for our composer of the month, who is Gustav Holst. Now, Gustav Holst was a modern era composer living in England. He was a very, very skilled trombonist, and he was very, very shy. He kind of looks shy in his picture too, doesn't he? He is not what you might expect if you just listened to The Planet Suite, which is so exciting, and there's so many different uh, wonderful things happening in it. It's hard to believe sometimes that it came out of someone who was so shy and not really comfortable in the limelight. So it just goes to show that you can create anything you want. Doesn't matter if it's not really how people would perceive you. And I'm sure that by now you know that the piece that we are listening to by Holst is The Planet Suite. So The Planet Suite has seven movements, for seven of the eight planets, he leaves out Earth, the one that we're on, and each planet is given a different name and personality to be composed with. And remember, it was written for just the biggest orchestra you've ever seen, just massive. Now, when the Planet Suite first premiered, when people first heard the music, they really, really liked it. It was really popular immediately, and it made Holst very, very famous. But remember how I mentioned how shy he was? He really, really did not like being famous. He wasn't expecting that response from the Planet Suite, and it made him a little bit uncomfortable. And it also made him sad that people listened to the Planet Suite so much more than they listened to all the other compositions that he wrote, of which there are many beautiful ones. But I think... He was being a little sensitive. I think this is an excellent set of pieces and he should be really proud of how successful they were. So our final planet in the planet suite, the last planet in our solar system is Neptune. Neptune in the planet suite is called the mystic. Ooh, ooh. So what does mystic mean? It's kind of like someone who seeks out new experiences, both in their mind and in the world, kind of like an explorer. And that makes perfect sense for Neptune, because Neptune's at the very end of our solar system, and it can see all of those places in space that we haven't explored yet and we don't know about. So I think that's what Holst was getting at when he called Neptune the mystic. Neptune is in 5-4 time signature, and you might remember that the first planet in our planet suite, Mars, also started in 5-4. So we are coming full circle in this 
group of music. And Neptune is through composed. That's a new word for us. So what that means is that there's no theme that it keeps on returning to. So I'm not going to show you a group of notes on the screen and say, listen for these, they keep on coming back. That's not how this piece is composed. It kind of keeps on drifting and going through this different soundscape. It's very interesting. And it uses a woman's choir at the end. So you're gonna hear all these female voices at the end. Overall, this piece is very shimmery, kind of mysterious very typical space music. It inspired a lot of different composers who wrote music for movies about space. So it's going to sound very typically spacey to you, okay? So even though there's not a specific melody that keeps on coming through, there's still a couple of things on the score that I wanna take a look at before we get started. Good, so this is the first page of music that you're gonna see when we start listening to Neptune. You see all these notes, it's gonna sound very floaty, it might be in the harp or the celesta or the glockenspiel, something sparkly and quite light. And the thing I want you to notice is over all those kind of groupings of what it looks like are 16th notes or even 32nd notes are these numbers. So I've box them in red, we've got some 14s, a 10, some 12s. What that means, and I know this seems kind of crazy, is that the composer is asking you to fit 14 notes, or 10 notes, or 12 notes, whatever the number is, into one beat of music. So if this is my beat, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just like that. And what that does when it's in a harp or something that you can play without having to take crazy breaths is it creates this really fluttery, shimmery sound, and it often feels like you're not in the time signature anymore because there's so many notes happening. It's very, very beautiful, and I just wanted you to be aware of that in case you were wondering what those numbers were. The next thing I want to show you is this frame from the music. So here we get ready to welcome our female singers into the composition. And you can see that where it says S1, S2, and A. See that? The S1 and S2 stand for soprano, which is a high-voiced woman. And the reason that there's a one and a two next to those S's is that there's two soprano parts in it. That's all there are. And then the A is gonna stand for alto which is a low-voiced woman. One of the reasons that I'm showing you where the singer's lines are is when you start seeing notes in those measures, you're gonna be like, what? That doesn't sound like singers. That's not singing. And that's because Holst wanted this to sound like it was kind of coming from somewhere mysterious. So the way he set it up when the piece was first performed was he had all the singers in a room just off the concert hall. And he had them sing, and as it was getting closer and closer to the end of the song, someone would slowly close the door to the room that they were in. So it would sound like they were getting further and further away, drifting off into space. And that's how the piece ends. So let me show you that very last slide. Here it is. And at the very bottom, there's some text, there's some words. And what it says is this bar is to be repeated until it is lost in the distance. Ooh. So what you are about to hear, my lovely students, is one of the most fantastic diminuendos in like all of music history. So what's going to happen, especially if it were live, is the conductor is going to get to that last measure and he is going to do it again and again 
and again, getting softer and softer and softer every single time until he thinks that the orchestra and the choir couldn't possibly get any softer. And so that last part of the music is going to feel like it happens for a long time and then it kind of drifts off into space. It's really cool. So without further ado, let's listen to Neptune. And that's Neptune. I love the huge, long diminuendo at the end. I love how it just drifts off. It kind of reminds us that there's so much more space to explore in our universe, in our galaxy. And I love that he chose to end it on a really peaceful note. When you think that he started with Mars, the bringer of war, and we drift slowly into this Neptune piece. It's really, really lovely. Before we say goodbye to Gustav Holst, I wanted to remind you guys that I only play you little snippets of each piece. 
A lot of them are quite a bit longer, and you are always welcome to go and seek them out if you want to hear more of the Planet Suite or anything we've listened to in class. They're very readily available uh, on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube with a parent's permission, so the sky's the limit. You can totally listen to more Planet Suites, okay? So now it's time to say goodbye to our lovely Gustav Holst and start a new composer next week. So that is the end of our class together today. I hope you had a wonderful time. I can't wait to see you again next week. Nothing left to do now but to sing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. I'll see.